Welcome back to my channel. This is Cheryl with I Style My Style. And today we're going to do a little clean and decorate with me in my family room today. So, you guys know I have been doing a fall series called How to Bring Warmth into Your Home for Fall. And I've been bringing in touches of a, I want to say it's like a maroon color, it's like a, a black, reddish color or it's a red undertone. It's red with a black undertone is how I'm trying to describe it. And I'll put up a photo here. It's this red color of these florals that I styled here in my kitchen. So I wanted to try to bring in that same warmth into my home for fall in the family room. So let's walk over here to the family room. And I want to apologize for the poor lighting. So, whoops. So, we're here in the family room, and I don't want to buy anything new for the family room. And forgive its current state, <laughs> this is everyday living. So, last year I bought these two colors. Well, actually, this is new. This came from Z Gallery earlier this year. I bought it when it was on sale. And I was gonna try to use this color here in the living room to bring in that warmth for fall because in our last video, we did this really pretty floral arrangement, if you guys can see that. So I thought these two would look pretty together here in my living room. The problem is I do not think I like this color in my living room. So I was trying to test it out and just sit these on the couch to see how I would like it, how I would like this color, how it would live here in my family room. All right, I also want to show you a few things that I picked up while I have been out shopping. You guys have seen those shop with me videos. I have been to, T not TJ Maxx, Target and Home Goods. Um, I decorate for Halloween. I know a lot of you do not. <laughs> You've let me know that you do not decorate in Halloween for Halloween nor do you intend to decorate for Halloween. And that's fine, everyone has their own opinion. Again, their own style. But I did wanna show you what I did pick up for Halloween, just in case there are some of you out there who might want to see what I picked up. Again, I'm going for a more modern, elevated type of Halloween, not spooky scary at all. So let me just show you what I picked up along with some other items that I picked up that are not Halloween related. Okay, so one of the things that I picked up is this little C table. It is like a champagne gold. It was $49.99. And I have this space here at the end of my couch. And I thought maybe I could sit it here. So if someone is sitting on this end of the couch, they would have all right, so if someone were sitting on this end of the couch, they would have a place to set their drink. However, I don't know that I like it here. 
So I'm going to let it live in this space for a while to see how I like it. Not sure that I will, but that's one of the items that I picked up. And then another thing that I picked up while I was out thrifting were these pretty fall placemats. And these were $3.99 for a set of six. Again, it's the warm brown gold color that you guys know I am using to bring in the warmth for fall. So I thought these would go really perfect with our tray here and our candle holders and our table runner. You see the brown playing off the brassy color there. So I didn't, I thought that was a great deal. So I picked those up. And while I was at Ross, I didn't find anything but these candles which I thought was a really nice deal. There are six in here and they were $6.99. So a little over a dollar a piece. So I thought those were a great buy. And then more non-fall or non-Halloween related. I also picked up this book called The Monochrome Home. Um, I got it used, so it did have a little scratch here on the front, but I'm not getting it for that. And plus two, when it's sitting this way, you can't really tell. And then I would have another book on top, but I wanted to get it because of the decor inspiration. They have some really nice photos in here. Again, you guys know I decorate in black and white, so I thought this book would give me a lot of inspiration. So look at this photo, absolutely love it. The browns and the blacks, I'm just loving that lately. I don't know why, but anyway, so I picked up this book and I wanna say I got this book because it was damaged for about, $18, I think, something like that. And then, while I was at Target, sorry for the crackling, I did pick up some Halloween items. So, one of the first things that I picked up that I thought was really cute was this little moon-shaped tray, and it was $5. So I thought it was so, so cute. Actually, it's not a tray, it looks like you can hang it up, but I would actually use it for a tray. So I picked that up. I also liked this little snake tray. I thought this would be cute. So I picked that up as well. This was also $5. And then I picked this up for my grandbabies. I thought it would be perfect to buy some little gun balls to put in here so when they come over, they could get their little gumball. I thought that was so cute. And then, non Halloween related, I showed you guys the spoon. I thought it would be perfect to go on my coffee bar. And it was $3 again, bringing in that warmth for fall. And then I also I already opened this up, but I showed these clips. Um, I guess they're meant to be paper clip holders, but I'm actually gonna use them for chip bag holders. And the spring is really nice and sturdy, so I thought it would be perfect as a chip bag holder. And then I picked up these little adhesive stickers for a Halloween DIY. I love the black and gold aesthetic, so I told you I'm gonna be decorating my lounge for Halloween and so I got these dish towels to use closer to Halloween I thought these were so cute look at that and they go really well together so I picked that up and then I also got a spatula I thought was cute just look at that so so pretty perfect to use in the kitchen for Halloween and totally my aesthetic. 
so that is all we picked up from Target. And then I went to the Family Dollar. No, not Family Dollar. I went to the Dollar General. And while I was at the Dollar General, they had some really cute Halloween things that looked, you know, high end to me. Something that you would see at Grandin Road, possibly Pottery Barn. So I found this little sign. It was $5. This one says Boo. And this one says Eek. Again, it looks so high end to me. And then while I was there, I also found this cute little mummy. Look at him, he is so cute. So I thought he went perfect with the sign. I also picked up this welcome sign. And I like the potion bottle, so I think I'll probably do some type of potion bottle display on my mantle along with this sign. And then I also picked up this little jack-o'-lantern from Home Goods. It was $7.99 and I thought it was too cute. Just look at his little face. And I figure I could put Halloween candy in here and pass it out to the kids for Halloween. Our neighborhood is big on trick-or-treating and we get tons and I do mean tons of kids that come through. So I thought it would be cute to hand out candy in this little pumpkin face. And then the last piece that I picked up for Halloween is this piece here. Now this piece reminded me of the Bath and Body Works candle holder. It's a skeleton hand, only it has like a, a velvet sleeve at the bottom with a bony hand where you could put your candle in. And you guys know I'm all about the looks, look for less, and I love a good DIY. So I thought I could take this and kind of mimic that candle holder from Bath and Body Works that sold out. I think it was like $50. This one was $8, but I could do a quick DIY on it and just set a candle in there like so. So look at that. Same Lux look for less. You guys know I'm all about the Lux look for less. And then I went into, I don't know if I said this already, but the Dollar Tree. And I wanted to get some more of these because they look so high end to me and they only cost a dollar twenty-five. And these are similar but a little bit smaller than the ones from Target. I think they're part of the fresh hold, fresh hold <laughs> threshold collection. And they're five dollars a piece and i think these look very similar to those and i'll put up a photo here so you can see these compared to the one from threshold again that one's a little bit bigger but still for dollar 25 and because this looks so high end yes dollar tree so i picked those up and then the last item that I want to show you are these florals. So I love these magnolia, um, these like black and like brown magnolia stems. So I first saw these on Z Gallery. You know, Z Gallery is my favorite place to shop. Absolutely love them. They had these on sale and I want to say they were like $30 for three, but I found these on Etsy and these were $5. So I figured these were a better deal. So I got actually six of these for the same price as the three from Z Gallery. So look how perfect these are. So I think I'm going to use these possibly in my living room because again i am not sure i'm going to like the burgundy color in here and i think these would look perfect with the aesthetic if i do so decide to just keep it all black or i might put it in my lounge or who knows so now we're going to start cleaning and decorating and we'll figure it out along the way all right so when i come downstairs and 
I first come into this room and I see this pop of maroon, I am kind of liking it, but I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll try to decorate it, decorate with it, stand back, see how it looks, and then go from there. Cause that's the process for me. I have to decorate it, stand back and look at it, make some tweaks. I'm sure everyone decorates probably the same way. But leave me a comment down below and let me know, is that your decorating style as well? Do you decorate, stand back, look, move things around until you're satisfied? I'd like to know. Leave me a comment down below. All right, so we're gonna keep it real today. I'm wearing my waist trainer. You know, your girl's getting to be of a certain age and she needs all the help she can get. So <laughs> don't mind that, cause I'm not taking it off. Um, but we're going to do a little light cleaning before we start to decorate. And the first place I'm going to start is over here on my bookcase area to get it all nice and cleaned up. work from the other side. Right, so we've done a little light dusting and vacuumed. Now we're going to start adding in this pop of color. I can tell you now, I don't think I'm gonna like it, but we're gonna try it and <laughs> just see what it looks like. So, but I really love these. I picked these up from Amazon. They are such high quality. 
so my personal style. I feel sure that they're gonna come back in for fall, but we're gonna roll with it. I'm gonna try to keep an open mind and we shall see. try to use the plum and black together and we'll see how that works and again I'm sorry for the poor lighting that's just what we're working with today I don't think I can get you a better angle unless I turn you around this way so you can see this area that we're gonna work on so as you can see we have the plum pillow over there so I'm gonna add the other one here we only have two so we're not buying anything so we gotta try to make it work so, how do we feel about this area? I don't know. I think the plum and I think it looks good because there's the plum there, but I think it these room springs. I'm not sure. Let's add the other ones. Let's see this area. So I think I'm gonna put a plum color pillow here. These came from Z Gallery last year on clearance. We'll add in this pop of color on the end. Since we don't have This is how that's looking.
Okay, so this is the floral arrangement we currently have on the coffee table. I'm going to switch this out and we're going to use these, which I think are really pretty. So I'm going to take this vase and we're gonna sit it back over here because I like the black. And I think the black and burgundy should play really nicely together. So we're gonna have to bend our stems and stick these down in here. And hopefully it works. still be able to see the television. So I'm bending these down so they're not sticking up so much. And you remember my motto, north, south, east, and west. So we're gonna bend this one this way. Kind of spread it out. And just kind of have it like draping on the table. So let's take a closer look. So this is how the family room is looking with the plum color. So I don't know. I told you if we step back, let me, all right. So this is how the cabinet looks currently. I have white decor pieces in here because it would pop off of the black, the black, the dark espresso colored cabinets. So. Okay, remember these are the pieces that we picked up from Hobby Lobby. And I told you I was going to accessorize the cabinet with them. So I just, I'm just going to set these in here and see how I feel about them. I think I'm gonna leave this here take this out and we'll have diagonal with the white and the brassy color the black and brass let's bring you a little closer can you see that no not from the glare all right so this is how it's looking and I have these lights that I got from Amazon. We'll turn those on and step back and see. I don't know, see the black? I can see it because I'm here, but on camera, you can't really tell, like, I guess because of the glare, this is how it's looking. So I don't know, don't mind that witch mug and the little fairy. Those are two things that are important to me that I keep in the cabinet. We're not gonna, we're gonna pretend they're not there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I like the white better. All right, I changed <laughs> back to the white. I'm a creature of habit. I like this aesthetic more than the other. So we're just gonna go with this and that one's gonna stay the same as well. So just, just well, decisions about these pillows. Let's switch it back to the black and white or the black and gray 
zebra print pillows and then see how we feel. All right, if we were just walking into the space, this is how it looks. Plum color here. I have these two vases out because we're gonna see how they look over here in the cabinets. Um, so this is how it's looking. And I don't know guys, I'm just, I love the flowers. I'm just not a fan of the purpley plum pillow covers. And then this is how this side looks. So, I don't know. Let me, let me think on it. As I said, we have to sit and think on it and see how we like something before we change it. So, Let's change out the decor and the cabinets and then we'll come back to this. All right guys, so this is how the living room is looking and this is totally more my aesthetic. I tried the color I don't like the color in the pillows. However, I do like it in the floral arrangement. I love the way these maple leaves play off the black of the vase and the, just the glam shine. And with our matte striker, this whole area, this whole little vignette is totally my aesthetic. And to me, it's perfect for fall, so I'm not gonna change it. This is how it looks from this angle. Again, very much my style. Not gonna change it, and... So I think the pop of color from the florals is all I need here in my family room for fall. Again, I apologize for the poor lighting. It's just that time of day, but yeah. I'm in love with how the living room looks now. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know, did you like version number one or version number two for fall? I am version number two all the way. If this video has inspired you in some way in your fall decorating, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Cheryl. I love decorating with style, on a budget, and I love to try to make my home look a lot more expensive than it really is. And one of the ways I do that is by budget decorating. So our table here was $49.99 from Home Goods. You would pay a lot more from other stores. Believe me, I've been looking. Our florals are a little pricey. They were $20 a stem and they came from A Floral. But again, they are very high quality. I absolutely love them. So we are using a vase that I picked up on clearance. And I want to say it was like five or seven dollars. And again, we're using a high and a low end item together. We're using a high and low end item together to give us that luxe look for less. Our tray came from Z Gallery. I've talked about that before many years ago. My coffee table also um, I picked up many years ago from Overstock. It is something that was sold at one time at Z Gallery. Our C table is from Yuta Home. Our candles are from Amazon. Pillow covers, all the pillow covers are from Amazon. This throw here is from Z Gallery. And yeah, everything is very budget friendly. So if you love decorating with style on a budget, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, and become a member of the family. Let's take one last look around the room, and I hope to see you in the next one.